And some cocoa, huh? Steam the dog? You need to dress a part to get a princess, okay? He don't teach you that, bro. He doesn't teach you. Three one Yes. And without Darren seeing it. So you need to describe Darren, which leads you think is cheaper. Wow. Four different pictures, okay? Of four different leaks. Okay. But it looks I pretty small. Wow. Wow. Hey, you want to think of your moustache? Huh? <laughs> no, it's like one and three. No, it could be three or something. Could be three, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Six dollars! Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Your way to the princess. Okay. Wow, man, pay Wow, 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 Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Okay. Thank you. Dear Darren, it's been 10 years. 10 years ago, I would never ever have imagined marrying you. So we were so young back then and all we could think of was having fun, hanging out with our friends and partying our days away. But look where we are now. We have all grown up, survived a long re distance relationship together when you are studying overseas and then being apart most of the time because I was busy flying and many, many more. You have made these 10 years so easy and I will always have so much fun with you by my side. We both know how indecisive I can be, but one thing for sure is that you are the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Now that we are embarking on the next phase of life, I promise that I'll continue to laugh at and with you. Be your strongest supporter unless you are intending to get a new PS5 or to spend thousands of dollars on Pokemon cards. I promise to be your trusted confidant and to take you in sickness and health despite all the adventures and dangerous stuff that I put you through. I don't want to make empty promises, so I'll try to learn and cook your favourite eggs and bacon so that you will have something to wake up to to fill this big belly of yours. I promise that I will think more with my head than my heart when we argue. And most importantly, I promise to kill the roaches in our house. Very important, yes. I can't wait to do the next 10, 
times 10 years of our lives together. I love you. Oh, wow. Such good service. Okay. Uh, Junwen, you came into my life like how most people normally do when they meet someone new. Uh, yet I clawed my way into yours through a very impressionable Polaroid incident. In the past 10 years, we've experienced great wins and disasters together. These trials constantly pushes the boundaries of what I thought I could endure. And in the end, I feel more strongly connected with you in a resolve to get up and try again always. I am thankful by your ability to push me to live life to the fullest and how you always compliment my shortcomings. I love that you're kind of funny uh, and kind of not as you still drive me crazy. It drives me crazy that you like lying on our bed with your outside dirty clothes and now I'm starting to lie on our bed with our, my outside dirty clothes as well. As your husband, I promise to take care of you even when literal shit is everywhere like when you got food poisoning in Bali. I pledge to remind you that tomorrow's a better day to buy a Lady Dior. I vow to be the man you inspire me to be and the man that you deserve. So I, I know our journey ahead is not going to be easy, but I am sure that it will be worth it. Uh, Chuan, I love you. As both of you have given your consent before me to live together in matrimony and have solemnly promised each other to do so, I now pronounce you as man and wife. You say I'm falling into our connection I was complicated, you made perfect sense I was slowly breaking, but you knew how to mend We're searching for